everybody, and welcome to a, a small mini-sode of Gift Horse. I usually will be covering a whole bunch of the free games we do in the PS Plus or the games with gold as they come out and I get a chance to play them, but this episode's a little different. I'm going to be talking exclusively about Erica. Now, it's the PlayStation's 20th anniversary, and some people were thinking that there was going to be... They're pulling out all the stops. They're going to be having some crazy big releases on the PS Plus. And what we ultimately wound up getting was two regular games, a free theme. I don't even I haven't looked at it. I'm not sure what it is. And then we also got the game Erica. And Erica, a lot of people aren't going to be sure what it is. Because I know that I wasn't. And so, what is Erica? It's an FMV-based interactive fiction video game. Now, I wouldn't necessarily even want to call it a video game. It's very comparable to uh, it's Bandersnatch from Netflix. So it's going to be live action, and you follow this character through this intriguing mystery plot story, and you'll be giving opportunities to go to this door or answer the phone, look here or go there. Do you confront this person outside of your door who's drunk or not? I was intrigued. Uh, that sounds like a cool enough concept to me. That's something that's fun to do uh, with the special partners. So uh, the other night, my girlfriend and I sat down to do it. And the first thing that uh, I noticed was that it recommended that you use the um, an app, a companion app for it instead of the PlayStation controller. And that sounded a little obtuse to me. I. If you're gonna be a PlayStation 4 game, have the controller be the primary control, which it does work. Um, if anyone's curious right now, I'm drinking the strawberry rhubarb pie. This is from Eagle Park Brewing. It's a sour ale aged on strawberry, rhubarb, and cinnamon. It is quite a delicious, thick treat right here. But So we sat down and my girlfriend and I, she's not much of a gamer, but we had beat Until Dawn together, and we had a good time with that. Until Dawn, if you're not familiar, kind of similar. You're given the opportunity to make decisions or choices for what your character does, and there's some minor gameplay moments. Now, the there's nothing difficult about Erica. It's not a tough video game. You will flick lighters, you will move documents, push doors, hide or not. There are, it's minor what you do gameplay wise. And you do the whole thing using the touchpad on the PS4 remote. It's pretty much a movie. It's an interactive movie and, but the touchpad for the PS4, I struggled through it for about the first half an hour and it is not accurate. It is mind boggling to me that this company, Flavorworks, who developed the game, would put so much effort and time to create this beautiful uh, movie experience, such a video, uh, puts the video on video game uh, movie experience, and then the controls, the core thing that makes it a video game, just suck. It just doesn't work. And another problem is you're often, you're given an opportunity to say this or that, or do this or that, and you're not given the time. Um, you don't get a big window to do everything, and just moving, trying to figure out how to get that touchpad to work was pretty bad. So, I downloaded the app while we were playing the game, and to give it its credit, the app, I opened it and immediately synced up to the game. I was using it without skipping a beat. I was, un it was unfortunate, though, that the app also kind of works like shit. It's no good. The story overall is cool. Um, you don't play as, I don't know, you don't play as, you watch a character named Erica Mason, played by Holly Earl. She has a good look. Um, most of the movies, she's got this same uh, dopey, scared look on her face, and I don't know if they want her to always look like that, so you can kind of put your emotions on or whatever they're trying to do. I ultimately grew tired of it. There's a few moments where she was allowed to shine. So one thing that will happen while you're playing this movie game, though, this interactive experience is you have to choose do you want to follow this character or that character and you'll have branching storylines and there's multiple endings uh, just so happens we got the best ending on our first time but I think if you've watched horror movies before you kind of know what to do there's not really any big twists it's all pretty predictable mostly 
I won't tell too much of the story. Oracles of Delphi, mental asylum for girls, and uh, murder, uh, cult conspiracy. Pretty good. It seemed sluggish. It seemed a little slow. I think ultimately, my girlfriend was enjoying it the whole way through, which that says something about that. That's cool. And while I didn't love it, it was interesting. Now, should you try it out? I think it's worth a look. You should probably get the app, even though the app isn't gonna help much. I think that there was an easier reading option in the menu, and I'm not sure if that would make it better. It might be worth a try. Overall though, Erica, interactive movie, pretty good. I still think that I would prefer Until Dawn or even Bandersnatch, but this is what the PlayStation deemed to be the free extra thing for their anniversary, and it is odd that it is a, a horror movie game with a bunch of murder and stuff, but congrats on your anniversary. Erica, I'd say check it out. Check it out and check out um, Eagle Park Brewing. If you get a chance, Muskego should possibly be open soon. And this beer is fantastic. If you want to check out more of our content, um, Gift Horse is just one small tip of the iceberg. Here at the Dogcast, we do a podcast bi-weekly. And we have another podcast called Raw Dogs, where we talk a lot about video games. And yeah, tons of stuff on here. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content. And if you... Uh, if you like beer, just leave a comment. I don't know. If you want to, have fun. That's Erica. This is Brad. This is Gift Horse. Thanks for checking it out. I will see you for the next round of reviews where I have to play some basketball game, and I'm not looking forward to that.